Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with a really fast, quick tutorial, and it's um, a question that you guys keep asking me. I had about 10, 15 messages over the last two days, um, you know, asking how to keep the audio uh, once you've rendered from After Effects. Uh, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to do that. So uh, what we'll do, jump into After Effects, and uh, what we'll do is we'll just grab, um, we'll grab that clip that we did yesterday, that one where it's thunder on the cinematic. Drag it into your composition, and what we'll do is basically once saved on all your effects and doing what you want to do, and then you want to preview the audio. Uh, what you must do is select the area by using this um, work area start button, this grey one here, and say we just want to preview it from five to I don't know ten seconds. Um, you may want to put it onto third or quarter, whatever you want to do, and then click this button up here in the far right corner, RAM preview. This will basically start generating from the work area start the green bar that goes across. So it's just basically wanting to, you know, if you want to make sure that a sniper, uh, you know, shot is in sync with your beat and stuff like that. So that'll do now just for this. And then all you need to do is press play and it'll play those three seconds with audio, um, which is fair enough. But then obviously when you go to render it, you may see that the audio is not there. So what you need to do is go to your composition and go to add to render queue. And then down here in the settings, first of all, best settings, um, what I'm going to do is just going to render from, if I just choose from um, 3 seconds to, I don't know, 7 seconds, just so it's like a 4 second render. Um, click OK, and then click off that, click OK, and then what you want to do is go to where it says lossless, and format, I always put it onto QuickTime Movie, it just renders faster with the same quality. And then the important bit is here, at the bottom, it says there, audio output click that leave it on 48 kickerz and 16 bit and stereo then all you need to do is click ok and then once you click render let's give that a few seconds going a bit slow i've got vegas open as well but nearly there There we go, so the After Effects project is finished, then all you need to do now is say you put it back into your montage is simply um, go to where you had that, where you've just saved that file, um, Thunder Test, drag it into Sony Vegas and there you go, it's got the audio on it so just give it a quick sample. And um, yeah, it's easy as that, so if you want to keep the audio in After Effects, that's how to do it. Um, you know, as usual, if you guys have got any queries or questions, you know, leave a comment or send me a personal message. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Cheers.